A city rising on the move A simple yet progressive groove Yes, I remember Tampa yes, she remembers me Welcome to the Tampa, Tampa Native Man. Show. Stay tuned now for the most entertaining 60 minutes from the studios at TBCN, Tampa Bay Community Network. Join your hosts, Mario Nunez and Steve Canella, as they celebrate growing up in Tampa. From Shock Armstrong to Shakey's Pizza, from Braddock Street to Buffalo Avenue, get ready to call in and tell us your stories, because sharing your memories has never been this much fun. And now, Mario Nunez and Steve Canella. Welcome back, everyone, to this, the Tampa Native Show. My name is Mario Nunez, alongside my broadcast partner, Steve Canella. And we'd like to thank you all for being there with us again. This is season three of the Tampa Native Show. This is week four, and it's just picking up steam and momentum. And listen, really for those is. of you that are just joining us this week for the very first time, well, where you been? <laughs> and, and to tell you the truth, this show is the only show of its kind anywhere on TV or radio all about growing up in Tampa. Growing up in Tampa in those wonderful early years when Tampa was very, very small, when as we like to say on the show, Steve, you were either somebody's cousin, you knew somebody's cousin, and you better check out who you were dating because you might just be their cousin. This is that kind of show. This week's show is all about the old neighborhoods. Now, before we get into the show and start taking your phone calls, we always have a little bit of business to do at the top. Stevie? We've got a lot of business today. We've got a we? lot of business sure to do. do at the top. Also, a special announcement about last week's show. Stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up in just a moment. Yes, Steve? very good news. Go right ahead, Mario. Let's get well, a start here. Let's, let's talk, first of all, about what we did last weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you that came to see us at Festa Italiana in Ybor City, thank you so much for being there with us. Michael and Kathy White, a special shout out and a special big hug to you guys for being there, helping us set up early in the morning. Thank you so much. Uh, that, that was wonderfully, uh, that was gracious of you, and we certainly needed the help. It was a long day. It got toward, hot mm. towards the end, mm -hmm. but we saw so many people. Steve, you've got a list of people. We sure did. We had a great time, by the way, and thanks for everybody that came out and visited the, our tent. We had a tent there. Yeah, we sure did. But we wanted to give a special thanks to Joe Capitano. Mr. From Capitano. The, from the Italian Club. Also, Stephanie Petroselli, mm -hmm. uh, Rick Jansen, who kind of took us under their wing and uh, let us be near them during the event as far as our, our location. But they were just superb in their... Um, the care that they gave us, you know, they watched after us all day long. Uh, we were there Saturday and Sunday. We watched the bocce ball tournament mm -hmm. Saturday. Uh, Sunday, we were all, all day there as well. But we had a great time. We I have, think superb is the word. Superb, I think superb, oh, superb I think is that's, definitely the word. Uh, oh, you can't. We had yeah. a prime location. Oh, it was perfect. Uh, we were close to the bandstand. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we had uh, close to one entrance. I mean, mm -hmm. the traffic was nonstop all day long, and I don't know how many people... We met so many people, Mario. It was uh, incredible. How many people came by and stopped at our, our tent, and how many people were in attendance that day? We don't well, have any official numbers, but... I was hoarse from talking the next day. It was you the were tens too. of thousands. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, here's some of the names that people came, did come through to talk to us, though. Uh, Please. We had, uh, yeah, we had really um, interesting person that came by right off the bat, early in the morning, Sunday morning, Annette Roger. She was the first baby born... In Centro, at the Centro Espanol on Bayshore Boulevard. We have a photograph. Yeah, of we that. sure we're gonna, do. We're going to call that call for that photograph to come up now. And if you want to put that on there, Jeff, so that the nice folks can see that, that's right, uh, Jeff. That's picture number two, by the image way. Image number two. Mm-hmm. And she we, is. Jeff, go ahead and take us out of the picture for a second. That's Annette right there. That's Annette Roger. Again, that she's the first baby born at the Centro Espanol. This is the old one, by the way, on Bayshore Boulevard. Now, talk about a, a, a piece of Tampa history there. How and about a true that? Tampa native. And true Tampa native. You can't get any more uh, Tampa native than that, I'll tell you that. And uh, thanks, Jeff. Okay. Also, we had a few other people, a lot of people, but here's just a few names. We don't have all day to, to read them all, but there's, here's a few. Rick well, Anello. These are the ones we need to read. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, Rick Anello from the Ybor City Museum. And we're mm -hmm. going to be in contact with him in the short time, uh, near future, and we're going to be collaborating with the photos and stories for our show and also to kind of help them out, too. But also uh, Linda La Rosa from mm -hmm. Robinson Class of 68. I think you knew her, right? Did you, right, Mario? Right, right. Um, David Agliano, the former owner of Valencia Gardens. We ran into him, talked to him for a while. We also met uh, Dory Raquelme, Alan Antonori, baby Raquelme. Um, Fran Constantino, who was at the beer booth, which we had a great time with her, didn't we? Fran had a great time with Fran and with us. <laughs> and, thanks, uh, thanks, Franny, for all your hospitality. Thanks for all the treats, Fran. Oh, thanks for all the treats. Oh, my gosh. Jesse Phillips and Brenda Battisi, they were at the Italian Sausage Tent and the Sfingi Tent. 
And uh, great. Never spins yet. Oh, well, it's like a, it's like a churro, but a round churro mm -hmm. with, a, with a white powder on it. Very good. And uh, Lisa Love Palermo, it. she was up by our 10 also. Uh, went to Hillsboro or went to high school at Tampa Catholic with my sister, Kathy Canella. But uh, just had a great time at the festival. And again, thanks to everybody involved. Next year, we're going to participate again, certainly. Oh, yeah. And uh, the rumor has it that we're going to be putting together a bocce ball uh, team so that mm -hmm. next year the Tampa Natives group can right. compete. It looked like mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Well, I mean, there were teams from, from 8 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning on Saturday, 9 o'clock in the morning, and I think the finals oh, was yeah. at 7 o'clock that evening. So there were two shifts. It looked like a great deal of fun, and I wanted to play. We've got to have uniforms if we do that. Yes, we will. Okay, good. Absolutely, right, we good. will. Well, or maybe our snazzy new Tampa Native yeah. shirts. That's an uh, idea. Also, we talked a little bit uh, with the uh, proprietors of uh, Que Pasa Tours. Did we not, Steve? We sure did. And, and just, mm -hmm. just to give everybody a, a little reference point here, there is a, a, a trip proposed for next March uh, to uh, return to the motherland. Uh, we're, we're talking to Que Pasa Tours now, putting something together. For those of you that might like to join us, uh, stay tuned. Information is forthcoming. A trip to Sicily is in the planning, mm -hmm. about a nine-day trip. Uh, and we will be posting something on that social networking site for those of you that might be interested. Now, this is right. a trip that is a for real, for real, mm -hmm. for real. Mm -hmm. So we ask that if you're interested in going and you really want to go, engage with us. And if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're not really serious about it, because this is one of those things, that how can you not be serious? You need a passport. You need a certain amount of cash in the, uh, in the mm -hmm. bank. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, of course, there's about 40 of us. I think that was right. the magic yeah, number, Steve. that's the magic number. About 40 of us are going to get mm -hmm. to go. So if you'd like to go to Sicily Please and travel us. with the Tampa natives, uh, you have a great Pasa time. Tours, great time. Uh, this trip is for you. Let us know. Show at TampaNatives.com. Also watch for that event to be posted. Mario, there was another person, too, that stopped by our tent. It was Angelo Ramori. Well, yeah, and, we met uh, Angelo. Yeah, we met him there in person. Sure. And uh, he's, he's, uh, he calls in quite a bit, and he also uh, sends us emails during the show and past shows. But very interesting story. And, Jeff, in fact, if you can go ahead and go to picture number three, there's a picture here of Angelo when he was a kid. And, of course, the show topic tonight is about the neighborhood you grew up in and what right. did you do in your neighborhood. So, uh, now... You may, you may have a hard time to see this. this. This building right here that you're looking at is actually the silver ring, the old silver ring, and it stands at the spot where La Tropicana stands now on okay. 7th Avenue. But you may see the gentleman in the, in the white shirt and the uh, pants to the right, but beyond that, there's a red circle, if you can see it, and a little kid running, and, he, and that's Angelo Ramori when he was a kid. And Jeff, if you can go ahead and go to picture four, that'll kind of zoom in on that little shot there. There he is. That's Angelo Ramori. Angelo! <laughs> On 19th Avenue. Where are you 7th. going in such a hurry? I know. He said he ran everywhere. Is there a story behind that? I mean, did, did well, he, had he just lifted a couple of uh, bubblegum cards from the store and he was trying to get away? Or well, That good, old guy looks like he's checking around there. <laughs> well, good question, Mario. As a matter of fact, I met Angelo Tuesday night. I went by his house. He has a photo album that I'm going to show you real quick here that he let us borrow to take a look at. But anyway, what he said about the running mm -hmm. was that when he was a kid, he ran everywhere. He, that, that was just what he did. He loved just running. Just stay in shape. Yeah, just stay in shape. But... He uh, gave us a photo album that you, you, you can see here. It's tons and tons of old pictures of Ybor City, mostly mm -hmm. Ybor City, West Tampa, but just some really rare photographs. So uh, as we get them scanned, um, we'll go ahead and share those with you on that big social networking site. Also, thank, thank tomorrow you, morning, is a nice segue. Also, tomorrow morning, the mm -hmm. next, yeah, the, we'll, we'll go to the next photograph in just a mm -hmm. minute. We'll leave that up there so yeah. we can watch Angelo, because Angelo's apparently running. He's running fast. Uh, tomorrow <laughs> morning, there's going to be an event at, at that uh, restaurant in West Tampa that uh, is one of our... Legacy show sponsors, uh, Juan Santayana's Restaurant Amarillis, mm -hmm. Sandwiches and More. And it's on Tampa Bay, just about a block and a half east of Himes, uh, within walking distance to Raymond James. And that photo album will be there tomorrow. So if you'd like mm -hmm. to stop by tomorrow, you'll get a chance to peruse the pictures. We'll also put them up on that social networking right. site. And we talked to Juan just before we went on the air. For those of you that show up tomorrow, uh, Juan is also, is also graciously going to donate uh, two $20 uh, gift certificates uh, to eat at Juan's restaurant, and we're going to do that tomorrow. Two drawings, no purchase necessary whatsoever. All we ask is that you show up tomorrow hmm. with a smile. Uh, you'll get a ticket. We'll have two drawings, one at about 9, maybe 9.30, and one at 11, 11.30. So if you get there a little bit later after the first drawing, you still have a chance to win. Again, no purchase necessary. Mm -hmm. All we ask is that you show up and participate with us tomorrow morning. So Please do. Uh, Steve, myself, the 15-Minute mm -hmm. Girl, we're going to be there tomorrow from 8 to 12. We're going to have... Uh, our recycle uh, market bags, our shopping grocery bags. Mm -hmm. We're also going to have our brand new T-shirts. So join us tomorrow at Amarillo's in the morning. That's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to have some cafe con leche and some Cuban toast. <laughs> I think we all are going to have some cafe con leche because it's going to be kind of early I in the morning. can't wait. I'm looking forward to now, it. Now, um, we'd like to bring in our 15-minute girl for just a moment, darling. Hello. Would this be a good time for you to tell everyone our 
question of the week. As we go to the phones, we always ask our questions, and one of the questions we'll be asking today, there she is. Don't adjust your set. I have to wear these shades tonight. I'm having big problems with my eyes burning <laughs> from allergies, and so got to wear shades. Future's so bright, my love, you have to wear <laughs> shades. What's our question of the our week? Our question Daddy? of the week is Little General or 7-Eleven stores? All right, in keeping with the theme of the week, thank mm -hmm. you, honey. In keeping with the theme of the week, which is the old neighborhoods, keep that in mind when you call. Question of the week is 7-Eleven stores or Little General? I which mind. one did you frequent? I know mine mm -hmm. as well. Also, real quick, I want to give a shout out. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read this. A real quick shout out. Some of you may know that my day job involves a, a little bit of traveling. Well, today, just this morning, I arrived from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Go ahead, Steve. I flew in this morning from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Are your arms tired? And boy, are my arms tired. Well, I flew this, uh, this last trip with, uh, with these three lovely uh, coworkers, and, I, and I'm, I promised them that I would mention their names because they're watching the show right now on their layover in Miami. And I wanted to say hello to compañeras uh, Loreto Marifil, Fernanda Alarcón, y Maricela Covnat. Eh, dos chilenas y una argentina, two, three lovely ladies that made my uh, trip a, a joy. I mean, when you're staying up all night, you're working on an airplane. It's not a great deal of fun. But I uh, hadn't had a chance to work with them before. And, and uh, Marcela, Marcela, put the chocolate chip cookies down. I know you're eating them right now. Put those down. Uh, enjoyed working with you, ladies, and hopefully we'll get a chance to see you again soon. Te mando un saludo, un abrazo, y gracias por todo. Thank you so much. Uh, what a question of the day. Little General, 7-Eleven, mm -hmm. in keeping with the old neighborhoods. Now, before we go to the phones, we've still got more announcements to make. Mm -hmm. I want to make this one real quick. For those of you last week that were with us, and for those of you that weren't, you understand we had a terrific show lined up. We had Mike Graham, mm -hmm. son of Eddie Graham, the wrestling legend, in studio with us. And as it turns out, uh, we had a little bit of a snafu uh, with the Bright House feed. We've got that all resolved. And uh, the powers that be here at TBCN have graciously agreed to re-air that program in its entirety right after this show tonight. So, at 8 o'clock, stay here with us. You're going to get a second hour of the Tampa Native Show with Mike Graham. We're going to be talking all about wrestling. Now, we encourage you to watch the show, but if you try to pick up the phone and call, you're probably going to get a busy signal or no <laughs> signal at all because actually it's going to be a taped edition. But for those of you on Bright House, thank you for staying with us and you'll get a chance to see that show right so after this week. So that's two, two, two shows in one. What a good, hey, hey, That's hey. a good deal, huh? <laughs> that's a great deal. That, sound, that sounds familiar, darling. It sounds like a jingle, and maybe that's a topic for another show that we can do at another time. So we can watch it when we leave here. Hey, Steve, why don't we do this real quick Oops. as I drop my earpiece? Why don't we do this real quick? Why don't we go ahead and uh, read with a certain sense of purpose... Here we go. From our list of sponsors. We always like to give a shout out to our sponsors Absolutely. each and every week because you know what? Without our sponsors, we wouldn't have much We're of a very, show. We're very grateful to our sponsors. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. I'll read the legacy sponsors. Go right ahead. And Stevie, you can take the business sponsors. We start off with the Columbia Restaurant. Thank you, Columbia Restaurant. Mr. Richard Gonsmark. PJ mm -hmm. Testa Accounting, who is PJ's our number one fan. Mm -hmm. The Colonnade. Thank you so much. Juan Santayana and Amarilli Sandwiches and more. South Tampa Chiropractic Clinic and Dr. Tom Aguero, Cigar City Magazine and Lisa Figueroa and Tampa T-shirts and Mr. Juan Davis. Thank you so much. Okay, our business sponsors, uh, La, Segunda, La Segunda Central Bakery. I love saying that, by the way. It sounds good. It sounds good. Mercado's Sandwich Shop, mm -hmm. Red Wagon Landscaping, mm -hmm. Mr. Empanada, Lenny Guida, Frank Cueto Bell Bondsman, when in jail, call 221 Bail. Bail. Uh, Columbia Jobbing, mm -hmm. World Famous Tiny Tap Tavern, K Pasa Tours, Festa Italiana 2011, mm -hmm. Fran Constantino Real Estate, Mike's Delivery Service, Sal's One of a Kind Shell Design, America 2110, the Law Offices of Bird and Gonzalez. And our personal sponsorships, a great big shout out to Mike and Kathy White, Mr. Ricky Branch, Phil and Carmen Nunez, Fred and Kathy Tomasello, Joe Abini, and Bobby Lastra. Those are our sponsors. Plenty of room left. For those of you that would like to join our family of sponsors, definitely let us know. Let us hear from you. We'd mm -hmm. love to be able to read your business, your name on this list each and every week as our family of sponsors continues to grow. Right. Now, let's get to that topic of the week. Stevie, 
What's that topic? Mar, this is a great topic. It's, it's what neighborhood did you grow up in, and mm -hmm. what did you do in your neighborhood? And, there, and everyone has a story, you know, for uh, their neighborhood. So everyone has a neighborhood. Everyone has a neighborhood, hopefully. But also, speaking of neighborhoods, in fact, you mentioned Joe Beanie a second ago. Yes. Now, this would be a good segue into that picture. And, Jeff, if you can go ahead and bring up uh, picture number five. Joe Beanie, one of our, our fans, he sent us in last week. And go ahead and read this real quick here. Basically, Joe writes, here's a picture of myself and girlfriend, Keitha Wilson, mm -hmm. future wife, in, front, in my front yard swing across the street from Stephen Foster Elementary on Diana Street and 22nd Street North, close to Sly and 22nd Street. Moved to this residence in December 1958 from an apartment in Ybor City, which was at 1212 25th Avenue. Hope you enjoy the picture and get ready to write this down. Okay. My, my lucky number is three, which we have a feeling that was going to be three. And his favorite sponsor uh, of the week is Mike's Delivery Service. Mike's Delivery. And... His week, his question of the convenience store is 7-Eleven. He All picked 7-Eleven. Right. Okay. So we're going to go with 7-Eleven, Lucky Bullita number three, Mike's Delivery, and of course that's the one and the only Joe Abini. Joe Abini. just wrapped up his high school baseball coaching season this past Monday. Right. Joe, we look forward to mm -hmm. seeing you again soon. If you can't be there at Amarillo's with us tomorrow, we'll see you mm, right. next weekend at our planned soiree. What a, what a great photo, too. Look at that picture. That's amazing. Ah, oh, youth. Where did it go? <laughs> Look at that, man. That's just that's just that says all you need to know about a, an earlier time when you could sit on a on a on a two seater mm -hmm. swing hung carefully from a giant oak tree. That's good stuff. All right, Stevie. Why don't we go ahead and tell them, uh, tell our fans and our viewers. Well, you got another email. Well, this is from Rick Parnell. You well, let's, yeah. No, we have to yeah, do Rick. Let's do, let's that, do Ricky's as well. Absolutely. Because yeah. Rick, for those of you that may not know, uh, Rick is our DSC, affectionately known as. Our Deep South correspondent, Rick, how, how lives in Curitiba, Brazil, who grew up here in Tampa, mm -hmm. and he's, he's moved down there. He's teaching English uh, to the Brazilian residents in Curitiba, and he watches our show right. every week. Religiously. Read that email, Steve. This is from uh, Rick Parnell. He writes, my neighbor and lifelong friend, Mike Knox, who I've known since five, about 50 years, played baseball from sunrise to dusk in the summer. We had to uh, stop as we couldn't see the ball anymore. We played hoops, football, dodgeball, corkball, kickball, bowling, wiffle ball, and Ricky Ticky, if you remember that one, which I don't remember that one. Ricky Ticky, I don't know what that is. And if, you, if you're the out there in Curitiba, yeah, if you're out there in Curitiba, please give mm -hmm. us a call, uh, Mr. Haney, because nobody <laughs> knows what Ricky Ticky is. Or anyone else. We, yeah. <laughs> we remember Ricky Ticky Tavi, but I don't know <laughs> what Ricky Ticky was. But that was done uh, at Clearfield, Plymouth, and Duran after school and weekends. Mm -hmm. And when it rained, we played baseball darts for hours on the porch on the back porch and did plenty of bike riding, mostly in our neighborhood off of Buffalo Heights. Mm -hmm. uh, many other friends that, are, that were, are way too many to list also participated. I am so blessed to have been able to live during this era. I liked Little General better because it seemed they always had Philadelphia football cards as well as tops. Okay. But I must say, my grandmother's store on North Boulevard was, of course, my favorite as I would sweep and do odd jobs like picking up acorns and in turn get a Yoohoo or a 3V Cola wow. and a Moon Pie. Wow. Since, after all, she was my grandmother. I could go on, but you only have an hour. Thanks, Rick. And he writes his Columbia Jobbing is his sponsor. Columbia the Jobbing. There's a fresh one. We yeah, haven't heard Columbia no, Jobbing. No, we in haven't. A while. Uh, lucky number is 17. Nice number. And he writes, please, P.S., don't forget to check out today's best donuts by a long shot, Nicola's. Thank okay. you, Rick. Appreciate it. Rick, thank you so much for that. That was nice. wonderful. Yeah, we all feel kind of uh, fortunate, and I guess you could say blessed in this Easter week that uh, we did we, right. we did grow up in a great time and in a great city. Um, so you could feel the emotion coming off that email. No, and and you listen, really. and listen, we, Rick, we mm -hmm. wish you lived closer to us, Papa, because if you were here in town with us, we'd put you to work on staff, and and uh, you, I know you would enhance the the content and the value of our show, which we think is pretty special as it is. All right, Steve, you go first. Tell okay. us your neighborhood and tell us what you used to do. Well, Mario, in 15 Minute Girl, yes. my neighborhood was, I had two. <laughs> that was good, that was good. Very dramatic pause. I know, I know. Well, Mario, and 15 Minute Girl. Okay. Well, basically, I had, I had two neighborhoods. All right. And, okay, I lived in one from, from the time I was born until I was 10, mm -hmm. and that was in Plaza Terrace, which is right behind Jesuit High School. Okay. Uh, 4517 North Lincoln, I still remember my address. Nice. And um, basically, we did everything. It was, it was a great neighborhood. Uh, we talked about it during the Halloween show last year, mm -hmm. last season. There were so many kids. It was just a great neighborhood to grow up mm -hmm. at, at that age. Um, a couple of my childhood friends, Stephen Guy, Susan Guy, and Cece, their sister Cece, uh, hopefully are watching the show tonight. 
Uh, they lived on the next street over on St. Vincent. So they're, they're, to this day, childhood friends that we still talk. In fact, I talked to Susan last night on that big social networking site Absolutely. that everybody knows about. Um, okay, after that, we moved. It was in 1968 to um, near Housewife Bakery. Mm -hmm. It was, Roman, it was uh, near Roman Sly, actually Roman Armenia, or Sly in Armenia, near um, the USAVE there and Housewife Bakery. And that was on Nola Place. And the nice thing is, during that era, um, most of the friends in the neighborhood, you know, my friends, were all pretty much all the same age. Mm -hmm. So I had uh, some of the names that were Chris Frame, who calls in the, ca the show occasionally, yes. Eddie Cunil, um, Javier Placencia, and um, Leonard Cabana, the Cabana brothers. So we all kind of hung out. It was, it was a typical our gang type uh, neighborhood. You know, we were always outside doing things. Uh, we were literally within walking distance of L Little General. In fact, mm -hmm. Dan Prez just corrected us here. It's Little Little Lil, General. Lil, not Lil. It's not Lil Little General. General. Yes, Little General. And, uh, As in uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> Little General. And I was guilty of that a minute ago. But we were literally in walking distance of Little General, Housewife Bakery, which we used to go there all the time, You Save, Fish World, because we all had fish aquariums. Sure. Um, the big lake on Minnehaha, where I spent countless days, countless hours fishing mm -hmm. on those lakes with all my friends. Uh, Mustang Field, which was not far away. And that was, the, that was on the corner of Roman Sly. Mm -hmm. And right behind uh, Roman Sly Field, the Mustang Field, was the PAL. Remember the PAL? I played PAL football. You did? Yeah. Okay. Police that Athletic was League. Police Athletic League. I didn't and they played know that. Pe yeah, Pee Wee football. Mm -hmm. uh, also, they did boxing there, too, you may remember. But behind the PAL was a big, I don't know how many, maybe three or four acres of, of wooded area, just all woods, uh, trees. And we built tree forts in there. Mm -hmm. And there was another lake in there, too. We go fishing all the time. But great memories in that neighborhood and just, uh, just very fun. Very fond memories. How about you? Well, as the show is commencing to get away from us, that we're 20 minutes past the hour, <laughs> having taken our first phone call, let me talk real, real fast. I'll tell you that I grew up in a, in a subdivision known as Broadmoor Park. Mm -hmm. Where you might ask was Broadmoor Park? Well, I can tell you. It was Cypress Boulevard, or 275 Cypress to the north, to the west, Lois Avenue, to the east, Dale Mabry, and to the south, Kennedy Boulevard. So that little section of town was known as Broadmoor Park. Today, they've renamed it New Bon Air for whatever reason, I couldn't tell you. But I can tell you this, for a kid that was growing up at that point in time, uh, to have North Hubert Playground within a short bike ride or a semi little bit of a walk about six blocks away was fabulous. We had a swimming pool at our disposal. We also had everything that goes along with a city playground. But across the street from my house, literally across the street, Caddy Corner, was about an acre's worth of property that was never developed. It was owned by one of the local residents, and we just, those of us in the neighborhood, affectionately referred to this location as the field. And we played everything there during all seasons. And it was maintained for us. It was cut for us. At one point, they had a backstop there, and it looked like they carved out a Little League diamond so that at some point, maybe it was going to be a Little League diamond, but then it uh, was never developed completely. So we had the field. We also had, from Dan Goods to Wagon Ho to the uh, green, s and Green Stamps location, uh, we had everything up and down Dale Mabry, Kennedy Boulevard. 7-Eleven mm -hmm. was our default store. We didn't have the mm -hmm. Little General close by, but we did have the 7-Eleven. And man, did we go over there to get ICs all the time. And that's another question. Icy or Slurpee? Okay, that's for another show. <laughs> Let's get to the phones. That number is 813-977-6800. If you're calling from out of the area, remember to hit one first. That's 813-977-6800. Operators are standing by. There's that number. This is live television. Remember, uh, live television, as, it, as they say, anything can anything happen. And on this show, does it usually does. <laughs> I can tell you this, that at that point in time, back in, the, in those days, if you had a bicycle, you can get just about anywhere you needed to go. Mm -hmm. And Tampa was just small enough that you could get there. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Uh, this is Hugh. I live in South Tampa. Hi, Hugh. Hi, Hugh. Thanks Hello. for calling. And uh, I grew up near Kennedy, Dale Mabry, and uh, we'd, we'd ride our bikes, maybe go to McFarland Park, play there. Sure. Or, or swim in the pool, or, or uh, sometimes we'd go up to, you know, where the bandstand was up at the top, mm -hmm. take our bikes up there, ride down not, without breaking our necks, you know, <laughs> and had a good time doing that. We've got a picture of that very little mm -hmm. bandstand, band shell, that little top of the hill uh, uh, what would you, not kiosk, what's the word I'm looking for, darling? Like a pavilion. Yeah. Pavilion is yes. good, that's mm -hmm. a good word. Yeah. I was looking for another word, but pavilion will do that in this works. case. That uh works. -huh. Hugh? Gazebo. Gazebo is what there I was go. looking for. Okay. Thank you so much. 15 minute girl. Gazebo <laughs> is the, the <laughs> what a magic word. Okay, I'm on it. Hugh? That's the word of Hugh? the day. Yes. Were you by the Tico building there by chance? Yeah, uh, uh, very close to the Tico building, absolutely, you, the old you, Tico building. So yeah. you could almost walk to the Sportatorium, as it were. Well, you could. Uh, uh, we used, I used to go with my dad. He'd drive us down there Saturday mornings and go see the matches down there. 
And uh, that was that was a kick. I now, if you heard in the intro, the show is going to be aired right after this show, so you'll get a chance to see it. It's going to be just like this, so stay tuned. Real quick trip to the bathroom. Come on back, grab your beverage, because that show is going to be on right after this one. Well, I did see it on the computer, but I'm, I may go ahead and uh, DVR it again. Uh, are you going to have Mike Graham on? on we are, we're going to do everything we possibly right. can short of bribing mm -hmm. him, <laughs> which is probably illegal, to get him back on the show, because we just we have so much more to talk right. about. Yeah. Also, we like uh, bicycle the lasters and have one of those great oh, yeah. embers, you know. Oh my! Or, or how about a, mm -hmm. a, a ice cream sundae or a banana split right there at the uh, soda fountain there where they used to have ice cream? You'd see Ray Dantzler or Hugh Smith in there, you know. Oh, oh. sure, Andy Hardy a little bit later on. Great memories. Great memories. Yeah. Sponsor of the week, sir. Oh, uh, I'll take. Um, um, Colonnade. I'll take Colonnade. Colonnade, very yeah. good. Okay. And. Uh, what about your Bolita Lucky Bolita drawing number? I'll take 23. 23 it is. And were you a 7-Eleven or a little general guy? 7-Eleven. 7 come 11. That's where, yeah, because wow. that was right down the street, just west of where you were, because that was just down the street from me. <laughs> you remember that 7-Eleven commercial late late 60s, early 70s? He'd say, uh, you know what I saved at 7-Eleven? Save five minutes. <laughs> ah, I don't remember that. Stuff. I don't remember that. Hugh, <laughs> you are a treasure. Great memory. And we appreciate you so much. Hey, you call us back any time and join us next week at that soiree or tomorrow at Amarillis if you get a chance. All right, I'll see what I can do. That'd be Thank awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye, Hugh. You do the same. Thank you. Take this one, Steve. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. My name is uh, Ole Gonzalez. There hey, Ole. Hey, hey, how you doing? Good to we hear from you. you last week. Thank you. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Good, good. Ole, what section of town did you grow up in? Well, I grew up in West Tampa there on Dewey Street between McDill and Gomez. Pretty much the okay. heart of. Right. And on my block, it was Albert Rodriguez, Ricky Rodriguez, Mark Burrell. Oh. Uh, That's a good block. It mm -hmm. was uh, Joey Bravo, uh, the Millers. Uh, it was a, a famous block. There. That's a who's who right there. That's a who's who. <laughs> Pretty good baseball player, pretty good uh, teams you could put together with that. Uh, That's right. That list of names. Nah, then we would uh, we would hang out at West Tampa Heights Park, mm -hmm. which is Capaz Playground now, mm -hmm. which Henry Capaz got hit by lightning. Is that the one that's across from the Armory, just across the street from the Armory? Or, no, that's across from Lou Pinella's. Uh, oh, that's right. That's yeah. correct. That's right. right. That's right. I get those two confused sometimes. And we would go down to Snack City and. Oh, man. Snack City. And get, get a curly Q cone? Yeah, man. Snack City, right across the street. And a from, split, you know. Across the street from Latans, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. The old Latans. What well, wonderful memories. Great memories. And back then, you could ride right. your bike, Ole, correct me if I'm mm -hmm. wrong, and, and you didn't have to, you know, the traffic wasn't as bad as it is now. So, you know, you could mm -hmm. get across a busy street in Armenia, Howard, or Columbus Drive without too much peligro. I mean, I used to cross Kennedy all the time back then. Now you would almost take your life right. in your hands. Right. We, ride, we would ride bike everywhere. Mm -hmm. You didn't have a bike, brother. You didn't get around. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, tra you treated your bike like your first car. I mean, you, everything was working always mm -hmm. good. You made sure it was clean. And then the, the, West, the West Tampa Heights, uh, it was, uh, the people would hang out there. It was, uh, was Scooty, which is uh, Lou's, Lou's brother. brother. Sure. And, and, uh, and Alan Granda. Sure. It's the best best athlete uh, I've ever seen. Wow. And uh, there's, there was quite a few there. Steve Marks. Uh, we had a bunch of good athletes back then because really and truthfully, we talk about this mm -hmm. all the time, Steve, there mm -hmm. was not, you know, you played the sport of the season. And, you know, if you were a musician, of course, you still did that. But that was an indoor activity. But you wanted to be outside, all the time outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and that's what we did, and it, whether it was stick ball or cork ball. Cork ball tournaments were unbelievable there. I mean, every day, every, every day we, we would be playing cork ball. And Alan Granda threw the cork ball the hardest that I've ever seen anybody throw it. Did you weight wow. that thing down with a little <laughs> penny on either end? Or a, a, hey, yeah, yeah, on a penny on each mm -hmm. end or a, or a nickel on one and a penny on the other. Yeah, make it do all kinds of different things. Yeah, yeah. Oli, before we Great let story. you go, sponsor of the week? Uh, Frank Whittles, Veilmont. Okay. When you're in jail, <laughs> call 221 Bill. Good friend of mine. We love Frank. No, we love Frank. We'll see him tomorrow morning at Amarillo's, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I seen you at Rick's, and uh, Frank was there. It was and, wonderful mm -hmm. meeting you that night in person, and of course, uh, Frank was there, and it was great seeing you guys. That was a really, really good night, wasn't it? Yeah, I had, I had my 42 uh, year old all star hat on. Wow. wow. I remember you having it with you, too. I remember you showing it off with a great amount of pride. Your Bolita number? Uh, 28. 28, and were you a 7-Eleven or a little general guy? I was a little general. Nah, nah. Yeah, right. so, one. so right now, it's right now, it's 2 to 2, 7-Eleven, little general. Oli, we'll see you soon, okay? All right, Thanks, have Oli. a good night. Thank you, brother. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.
Caller. All right. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hey, I'm calling from Tampa, Florida. Okay, All right. What's your okay. name? What's we, your... we need a name from you, sir. Wow, my name is Ivan Echevarria. Oh, hi. This, oh, is a okay. fresh, this is a fresh new name. We, we have not heard from no. you before. Ivan, how are you doing? Good, good. I, I mean, it's the first time we've seen the show. I was just going through my through the channels, and then it came up. You're and, channel wow. surfing. Wow. <laughs> Did you okay. catch us on Verizon or Bright House? Uh, Bright House. Wow, so you were up there surfing, in the big numbers, 950. Surfing the highway. Us, huh? Yeah, yeah. It, 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 the thing is, <laughs> it's weird because I know everybody you guys are mentioning on TV, all these guys calling in, telling little David where they're from. Because I'm from West Tampa, you know, Top Sennel, Allen Sennel, all them guys when we used to play ball when we were younger, you know? At West Tampa, yeah, absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Ivan, uh, the show's been on the air since September 1st, huh? and, and we're so glad that you found us. Uh, you've missed some pretty good shows, but there are some good shows coming up soon. So uh, be sure that you mm -hmm. mark this on your on your calendars every Thursday night at seven o'clock, and tell your friends as well. You told exactly. us you grew up in West mm -hmm. Tampa, mm -hmm. uh, and you dropped a couple of names on us. Were you a Seven hey. Eleven or a little general guy? I, well, you know what, I was I, I was a Seven Eleven mm -hmm. guy because that's the place I used to go grab my mm -hmm. little douches and stuff, and then Seguro. Leave, but I liked the little bodeguitas that were right there on uh, the neighborhood bodeguitas, the the ideal, and, and yeah. all those in West Tampa, mm -hmm. the, the little the little mm -hmm. mom and pops. <laughs> Yeah, little mom and pop, you know, and then, you know, of course, everybody knew Frank, Frank Cuerto because Frank Cuerto was our, our guy, you know, from the neighborhood, so, we, you know, you guys just mentioned him, too. <laughs> Frank, Frank, Frank's a everybody. lot of people's guy. He knows Let everybody. Frank, Frank's, Frank is a great guy, and, uh, and, went, and went in jail, shall we say it again? That's, that's <laughs> two, two, one bail, okay? We love, we love Frank, and he comes to all the fights that I do now. I mean, I'm a promoter now in Tampa. Okay. And I'm constantly promoting fights. And, nice. Uh, Interesting. I don't know if you ever heard of the, that local guy from West Tampa, Pete Fernandez. He's a trainer. I have. Uh, yeah, now, we work with him, and you know, uh, we got the company that's called now that just got uh, freed. It's called Pete Fernandez Promotions. A new company is huh. coming out. You know, he don't he went away from Starfight Production mm -hmm. and moved out to uh, Pete Fernandez Promotions. It's gonna come big. We got a couple fights coming up. Good, good. We'll talk. Listen, we'll talk again. We're gonna be at them release tomorrow morning. If you swing by there, we'll definitely carry the conversation forward. Since it's your first time calling, mm -hmm. you know, we do a bolita. A uh, little bolita drawing at the end of the show to give stuff away. Number 1 to 75. You have a favorite number there, lucky number? A lucky number is 27. 27 it okay. is. And, and do you know our sponsors by chance? Were you listening at the beginning when we read those names? Yes. Can you give us what your sponsor of the week? If in jail, call 221. Oh, Frank Cueto. Oli, Oli Gonzalez just Here got that one right. just before you. i tell you what. Well, I'm going to go with Bar Bernie Gonzalez. How about that? Okay. okay, all right, we'll put you okay. down then. Thank you, Papa. We appreciate you calling. and Call us anytime. Thanks, Ivan. No problem. Papa. Thanks, Ivan. We look forward to meeting you soon. Glad he found the show. That's, That's great. great. News. People are still finding us by channel surfing, which is an amazing Caller, you're thing. On, you're on the air. Tell us your name. Where are you calling from? Tony Gonzalez. Hey, hey Tony. Hey, Tony. Glad to hear from you. Hey, how you doing, bud? Good, good. How you doing? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. We missed you last week, man. I'm sure uh, you got some good stories, huh? I got my family and I got my daughter and her husband in town because he's headed overseas. Ah. Okay. Well, we, we talked about wrestling last right. week, and I know mm -hmm. you had some good stories, oh, yeah. and I know Hugh Perrette did too. So, hey, and if you didn't hear it at the top of the show, the show's going to re air right after this one. So, if you've got another yeah. hour you can dedicate, hang in there. I will. I lived on, uh, well, I lived on 9th Avenue and between 15th Street and mm -hmm. 14th Street, you know? Yeah, that, was with. that was yeah. a commercial area. Yes. You had my dad's bakery you, across the street, you had uh, Spoto's mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, my godfather's uh, Demi's Wholesale and uh, Reina's Wholesale, and you had a few houses there. So I used to play with guys like Louis Reyes and all that. Mm -hmm. and then my father's uh, bakery yard, because uh, we played cowboys and we rode our bicycles and all that. But in the bakery yard, we had uh, he would have logs for the ovens, mm -hmm. and we'd climb them logs, and they'd be our mountains. You know, you use mm -hmm. your imagination back then. Oh, yeah. You had to. Yeah. yeah. You had to because there wasn't, no you had to invent a lot of stuff. And on Sundays, we used to go, uh, there was a place called Broadway Paper, I think. And on top of Broadway mm -hmm. Paper, I forget what they call it now, but it's, it's a gothic place or something. Mm -hmm. It was a lodge then. And uh, we'd sneak into the weddings there. Oh, oh, wait, yeah, we just saw that building. Is that on 8th Avenue in Ebor City? No, on 9th Avenue. On 9th. Huh. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, the, one we saw that's the, the one that we just, we like just saw last week. Huh. We were down there walking. It looks like a castle, no? Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's, yeah. I believe it's yeah, called the castle now. They call yeah. it now the castle. Right. Yeah. It's really a lodge back then. Okay, that's okay. That's a coincidence. So that's yeah. an older building, too. That's been there for a little while. I was wondering what the backstory was on that. Oh, where, uh, i tell you where my dad baker was, is where the university is. Okay, okay. And across the street was Reina's. I don't know if they're still there, but my godfather's building is still there. Well, the you, whole thing. you didn't have any problem getting a job back then, did you, Tony? 
Hmm. No. I mean, a real hmm. actual job if you need to work and, no. you know. No, a real actual job. I either worked for my father or my godfather. <laughs> y te pagaron, right? You got paid? Yeah, oh, yeah. They yeah. didn't pay you, like, try to pay you with croquetas no, or with... No, they paid me with, uh, my father paid me with, uh, I give you a roof and... Uh, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and I wash your clothes. And you can eat today. I, yeah. yeah, I got paid like that, too. And my godfather, now, he, every, my godfather was the kind of guy, he'd see me playing outside, he'd say, come here, come here. And he'd give me 50 cents or a quarter every time he saw me. Oh, that's when nice. I worked for him, he paid me, like, I'd work for him after school, and he'd pay me $3. Back then, $3 a week was a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take you places. Oh, yeah. $3 yeah. would take you places, absolutely. Oh, no. oh, yeah, were you a 7-Eleven or a little general guy? I was a machos man, man. We didn't have 7-Eleven oh. there. Oh, okay. that's okay. Yeah. Okay, we had to so put it a special... was a little store. It was a, well, it was like a newsstand, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and my dad would go deliver bread on foot to some of the restaurants around uh -huh. there. And he'd take me in there and let me buy some bubble gum or whatever. And how are you spelling that? Is that a proper name? Yeah, it's M-E-L-C-H-O-R-E. -E. Okay. They moved from where they were originally. Huh. They moved over. They were on, on, the, on the 15th Street, but they moved from one area. They moved closer to where the Rich Theater was years later. Okay. But uh, the bill, I don't think the building is. You know, you is. predate mm -hmm. the 7-Elevens, mm -hmm. Tony. I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. <laughs> but uh, if you predate 7-Elevens in Little General, wow. <laughs> I'm talking, yes, I'm talking uh, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, and we'll leave it at that. Oh, yeah, your lucky number? Uh, 31. 31, and your sponsor of the week, I know you got a system. Uh, Little Red Wagon. Oh, man, that's, that's... one of these days, as the great one used to say, one of these days, Alice. Okay. <laughs> Red Wagon. Oh, yeah, thank you, Tony. Tony. Hope we see you soon, okay? As always, good to hear from you. Take care. Thank you, brother. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Look at that little general store right there. Perfect. Caller, Caller you're on the air. Tell us your name, where you're calling from. Hi, this is Marlene Maceda. Hey, Marlene. Oh, Marlene. Good to hear from you. Hi. I'm, a, I'm in the car going to the Jefferson Strawberry Crest game, but I thought I'd call you off. Glad you did. Well, listen. Glad you did. Give, give all those people over mm -hmm. there that we know, give them our best, give them our love, tell them we'd be there if we weren't doing a live right. TV show right now. <laughs> I sure will. Raina's probably going to get the start tonight, no? Uh, Raina's pitching tonight. Good. Give Mike and, 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 and Cindy a big hug for us and, and tell us where you grew up and... Were you a little general girl or a 7-Eleven girl? I grew up in West Tampa, and mm -hmm. I'm full circle back again on Maine and Armenia, between okay. oh. Tampania and Armenia. Nothing wrong with back, that. Back a lot of us, are, yeah. lot of us mm -hmm. have gone, gone that same back route. Back to the nest. Back in the old neighborhood. Yeah, yeah where my, uh, my father moved three blocks when he married my mom. My mom moved mm -hmm. one block when she was five. But, of course, mm -hmm. used to ride our bikes everywhere, mm -hmm. go to McFarland Park. We thought that was a mountain instead of a hill. I know. Your bike's down it, rode down it. Watch the boys play Faha at St. Joseph or West Tampa Heights. Have mercy. What a wow. game. <laughs> <laughs> McFarland Park, the games. I played softball at West Tampa Little League. Sure. And also my cousins, Dennis and Angel Lopez, played at um, <laughs> West Tampa, so we were there yeah. all the time. We saw you mm -hmm. just last week? Was it last week or week before? Week before. Last week. Was it last week? Before. The, the weeks are, yeah, the weeks oh, are. Was it the week? Yeah, it was the week before. Wow. That's when Raina had her four for four, mm -hmm. and, and we saw you there that night. That was wonderful. Yeah, that home run, beautiful home run she mm -hmm. hit. Awesome. Well, listen, do you yeah. have a, a lucky Bolita number before we let you go? Seven. Lucky number seven, and how about sponsor of the week? Well, they took Mikey and they took Frank, so... Uh... Well, Frank's a popular sponsor. <laughs> yes, he tonight. is. Columbia? Okay, we'll okay. put you down for the Columbia. And uh, did we say whether it was 7-Eleven or a Little General? Well, I used to go to the 5 and 10 on uh, Howard and... Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I guess uh, Little General. All right, we'll put you down for Little General. Very unscientific poll, but you know what? <laughs> right, right now, Little General is uh, surging ahead. Yeah, actually, I would. I, the woman that her husband used to own Little General, uh -huh. my father knows her, hmm. and um, so she's still around. So that's why I'm going with Little General, because he knows her. That's wonderful. <laughs> Marlene, say hello yes. to everybody for us, okay? I will. And thanks for sharing. Great show. And thanks let us, sharing thank you so much, and let us know yeah. how Jefferson does later. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, honey. But well, people have so many memories they're sharing oh, with us. We're they're just great. rocking and rolling tonight. This wow. is This is Not nice. stop. This is good. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yeah, I'm calling from Tampa. I'm Mike Knox. I'm Rick Parnell's oh, friend wow. for life. We spoke you know? about you earlier. Mike Knox. Wow. I hope Rick's watching right now, too. Welcome, uh, Mike. So, too, yeah, but, uh, you mentioned about the Ricky Ticky. Yes, yes, please. Yeah, Help thanks us for out on that. that. Okay, yeah. You used to be able to get just, like, say, two bricks. Okay. And put a, uh, uh, a stick across it. Okay. Then you put two bricks about 30 feet away from each other. Mm-hmm. And put a stick across it. You use the ball like, uh, say, that you use in handball, a rubber ball. Okay. Right. And you have two men on offense, two men on defense, 
and you roll the roll the ball as fast as you can. And if you swung and missed and it knocked down the stick, you were out. So the next, oh. the offense, the, the next two players uh, batted. Wow, it's like fun. And so, if you hit it, almost like cricket. Yeah. Almost, yeah, almost, mm -hmm. yeah. And if you hit it, you just keep on running from one end of the brick to the other, and each cricket. rotation wow. would be a run. But if you hit it and the defense got it, you could also throw the ball at each other. You guys were way That's, ahead of your time, yeah, man. Yeah, definitely. Oh, <laughs> we tried, we tried. <laughs> That sounds like a lot Great. of fun. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad you called in, man. You know that Ricky, our Deep South correspondent, he, he, ne he never misses a show mm -hmm. when he can, and, and he tapes the shows that he can. And, From Brazil. Uh, we just, we, mm -hmm. we just, we love, we love us some Ricky T. Parnell. I, I don't know if you, you caught the show where he called in, and he was Mr. Haney. He called, he called <laughs> us on his phone jack. What is it, Magic Jack, all the way from, <laughs> from Brazil. He sounds just like him, too. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Haney was uh -huh. a trip. Yeah, me and Rick known each other since uh, hell, we were about five years old. Grew yeah. up a block from each other. What a good guy! What neighborhood did you tell us? What neighborhood you grew up in? Uh, well, then it was Buffalo Heights. It's it's uh it's now called Riverside Heights. With yeah. the uh, mm -hmm. we used to go up and get our ices at the famous Huddle's Corner. Huddle's oh, Corner. Wow. So, so you were a Huddle's Corner mm -hmm. guy, but but in the in the mm -hmm. controversy between Little General and and Seven Eleven, did you have a fave? I say Little General. Okay, yeah. Little General, man. Little, little General. Where the Seven Eleven people? Little General just jumped out. Taking a lead. How about your lucky Bolita number? Right. Uh, let's go with uh, 29. Wow, look mm -hmm. at all those 20s. And do you have a sponsor of the week? If you know the format of the show, do you have a, a favorite sponsor of the week? And if not, don't feel bad. I've not got to be for Cottos. Okay, okay, he does Perfect. know the show. Perfect. Hey, Mike, we're so happy that we got a chance to talk. <laughs> we love our first-time callers, man. We really, really do. Yeah, thanks. Hey, I appreciate that. the show. I mean, it brings back a lot of good memories. Good. That, that's good. what we're here for Glad every week. Glad you're watching it, too. Thanks, Mike. Hey, y'all take care. You thanks, too. Thanks, Mike. Bye now. Oh, that's wonderful. Keep rolling, Stevie. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. I'm Bruce from South Tampa. Hey, hey Bruce. Bruce. How are you? Will this be yeah, Bruce Krenzman? Enjoying yes. the show tonight. Oh, that's okay. the one and only Bruce Krenzman. Hi, Bruce. Yes. Um, back in the day, um, Panorama Bowling Lanes, a lot mm -hmm. of neighborhood kids were in a bowling league there. Yes. Mm -hmm. And one year, I won city tournament in the team division. Well, hello. Hulk Hogan was in the same league, oh, and yeah. he won city tournament either singles or doubles. And we had a big banquet downtown mm -hmm. for trophies, and Eddie Graham was the guest speaker. Oh, wow. Nice. That's, that's really and cool. And our picture was in the paper, and Eddie brought his little boy with him, Mike. Yeah. Was about mm -hmm. 12 years old or something. Mm -hmm. He's in the picture with Hulk Hogan when he was 10, 11 years old, and myself. That would have been a great that story to have shared with nice Mike last too. week. I'm sure he mm -hmm. remembered. I'm sure mm -hmm. you would have remembered, and, and you know what? We'll get a chance to do that wrestling show one more time, and when we do, you have to call in and tell us that story. And don't forget to watch tonight after this show. You'll see Mike Graham again. I will do that. Hey, were you, uh, were you a pretty decent bowler back in the day? Because, you know, I fancied myself a bowling guy, too. One city tournament. Well, hey, hey. Very good. <laughs> Nicely done. High score? High score? Quickly. High score? Back then, I think it was 159. Sure, because we were juniors. I mean, 159 yeah. was a pretty good score. I wasn't a junior. I was a bantam, I think. <laughs> oh, wow. So it probably 8-pound, 10-pound ball at the time. Little guy. Oh. Sponsor of the week for you, Mr. Mm -hmm. Krenzman? Tiny Tap. Tiny, Tiny tap. tap. Somebody's paying attention. And lucky number. Lucky number. 49. 49. A little higher number. And mm -hmm. were you a little general guy or a 7-Eleven guy? No general on Manhattan. Oh, mercy. Yep, that little general is rocking and rolling. 15 minute girl. I think that was her default yes, store as well. Exactly mm -hmm. that same store because mm -hmm. she was in the neighborhood as well. Well, my 7 Eleven people better, keep, better call in because 7 Eleven is <laughs> falling behind. Bruce, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Sounds good. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Thanks, Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. Bye now. Another one. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Big Mike from Orlando. Hey, hey Big Mike. Mike. Really good to hear from you. Thank oh, I love you guys. Okay, listen. <laughs> we love you too, Mike. Let's get the formalities out of the way. Oh, I love you guys. Now, give us your story. All right, here we go. Okay. Definitely a little general guy. Oh, my. Oh, good. Okay. It was next door to the letter carrier's hall. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. And I grew up on, uh, right off of McDill on Cass Street, just like you did, Mario. Yes, sir. Ah. Yes, sir. I was just mm -hmm. a little west of, of the you. the tracks. You know, you guys were up there. We were uptown, don't Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I was closer to the armory. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. You were east of us. On the other side of Dale Mabry, which was like an impenetrable force shield that we didn't cross too much because Dale Mabry was kind of big at the time. Yeah, I know. Boy, I was something else. But we lived with the other side of the tracks. And I, I used to stand in front of my parents' house. You could look down at the armory. Do you remember that big, like, urn, whatever it was, that would light up? On the top of the armory? Yeah. 
Yes. Seguro, yeah. We talked yeah. about that one day. Remember that? Mm. Was that great or what? But several, mm -hmm. uh, little general was great over there. You know. We also remember, mm -hmm. too, as we talked about this, and uh, nobody else has mentioned it, I'll mention it now, on Saturday afternoons, mm -hmm. you could hear at noon the air raid yep. warning yeah. horns that used to go off because, you know, that was back just shortly after mm -hmm. Bay of Pigs and, mm -hmm. you know, McDill and everything else. So that lets you know that it was noon on Saturdays. And as you got older, you knew you, you know, teenage years, you, you knew you should probably be up by then because it wasn't, <laughs> your parents didn't appreciate you sleeping until one or two o'clock. And I knew it was lunchtime. And, and yeah, and yeah. if you were outside playing, you knew it was noon. I you, remember knew, that. you know, if you had to run home to get lunch or whatever, but you, we had one on Gray Street. You see the lights from the old mm -hmm. uh, University of Tampa field when they had the Spartans were playing right. football. Mm -hmm. On Phillips Field, right? The one by the river downtown. You could hear it, man. Ah, those were great wow. times. Great night. All great over days. the place over there, man. And uh, uh, what a great neighborhood, mm -hmm. though. That whole thing was, uh, you know, uh, just, uh, just love that uh, that part of town. Still do. When, when they were redoing McDill, they had to widen it. They had all these mounds you could throw, go throw dirt mm -hmm. bombs at each other. <laughs> Oh, yeah. They're tremendous. Remorse. Tremendous dirt the way bombs. we entertained ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is before Nintendo. With dirt. Before, yeah. <laughs> before computers. <laughs> with Literally with dirt, we would entertain ourselves. That's pretty good. Oh. We invented Tad Tadpoles yeah. in the ditch, mm -hmm. grasshoppers in the backyard. That's oh, right. And you know, when West Shore Plaza opened up, then that's when we started moving towards your end of town. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Because there was a reason to go there then. Right. That's correct. Exactly. And you know, with Don's Bakery, remember Don's Rick Bakery I, before it was a lessee? I do. Yeah, I, I worked there for one day. Wow. What happened? Wow. Yeah, what happened was it, uh, they brought me in and they're cleaning stuff up. I got to do the bathrooms first. Then I went to the back to do the table with all the dough on it. And I, the mistake I made, I put water on it. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, my <laughs> God. I lost my mind. The dough was covered from head to toe with dough. I couldn't figure You're out rolling in dough. <laughs> yeah, you were. I told them, no, no, I told them I had asthma. It's acting up, and I got to go home. I got to go home. That was it. Huh? Last day. <laughs> Short-lived career as a baker, <laughs> working at Don's. Oh, yeah, your sponsor of the week? All right. You know what? Frank Quito's really picked you. Right. He's been picked four times already. Frank's <laughs> having a good week. The crap, yeah, he's doing good. Uh, you know what? I remember who else? Uh, Brocado's already picked. Picked. I mean, my other. Pick somebody for me. Tell me. Give me, give me a clue. Give you a hint. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sal's one-of-a-kind shell design. Nobody's mentioned exactly. Sal's. Let's go with Sal's. Okay. Pick it up next time. All right, very good. And, and number 32. 32 it right. is. Papa, thank you so much for calling. We've been missing your calls, but thanks for being there. Yeah, good to hear from you. All right, thank you. Love See you, you Mike. Love you, too. Bye-bye. Mario, for anyone who may, may not know how to look at all the sponsors, go to TampaNativeShow.com, mm -hmm. and you can get a list of all the sponsors there. You'll see all the logos in, in the list. And uh, we got in a couple emails here with some more Quickly, numbers. Please. I think yeah, we're we gotta... way past 15 minutes. Yeah, we better, we, better, we, better, we better go to our 15 I'm minute girl. I'm feeling a little right slighted here. Okay. I know, I know, because she's rapidly becoming the 10-minute girl and the 5-minute oh, yeah. girl. And we'll we get still the got other announcements to make. We do. Darling? Okay. Should I come in or stay um, my desk? Yeah, I think you yeah. probably want to okay. walk in. Come on and walk in. Come on to my house and my house. Uh, here There's, she comes. There she is. Here I come. Here the 15 minute hey. girl. With my shades and everything. Well, Here's tell, your, tell, us, tell us your story real okay. quick. Where did you grow uh, up? Mm -hmm. my, my neighborhood was called Manhattan Manor. Sexy. And I grew up on South 4503 South Cameron mm -hmm. Avenue. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a lot of good kids on our block. We used to have talent shows and Brent's Garage and <laughs> water balloon fights and playing in the ditch and catching tadpoles and all kinds mm -hmm. of fun. And it sounds like you used mm -hmm. to go to the same uh, Little General that uh, Bruce Cushman yes, did. Yes, I did on Manhattan. Oh, we That's pretty I used to walk yeah. by the Little General on my way to Madison L uh, Junior nice. High. Nice. Excellent. And what's in the blue box, darling? What's in the blue box is... Let's see. This is our sponsors. This is our sponsor yep. of the week. Mm -hmm. And the winner is... Columbia, Columbia Jobbing Jobby Company. Columbia Jobbing and our Columbia Jobbing Can, guest we was from Ricky Rick Parnell. T. Parnell, Ricky our T. Deep Parnell. South correspondent. Well, Congratulations, listen, Rick. Ricky, that's, uh, your shirt will be on the way shortly, Papa. You've got to send us your address there in Curitiba so we know how to get this to exactly. you. Exactly. Okay. Unless you're planning a trip home to see us soon. I'm out of here. Thank you, Thanks darling. Thanks for the minute, girl. Appreciate it. Well, you know what? Everybody said the address to where the, the mm -hmm. house where they grew up, and I don't believe I've said mine yet. Oh, no. Well, I believe I'll say it now. That would be 4110 West Cass Street. And just for bonus points, does anybody remember their original phone number? That's what I was going to ask you. Ah, uh, you were? Go ahead, ask no, me. I don't, what, was your, what was your original phone number? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, I don't either. Oh, I do remember. Of course I remember. I remember. I remember the area code. It's changed. They changed the uh, prefix uh, once they mm -hmm. went to the new number system. Mm -hmm. But um, I grew up in the 876 
prefix number. So, you know, there was 877, 876. Mine was 876 I think we were too. 053. How can you forget that? I think we were 876 as well. Yeah, there was Your a big judgment. area. Yeah, yeah 876. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I was remember? 839, but 839? I, don't remember, no, I don't remember the, the, the last, last four? four numbers. No. 876 oh. 053. Stevie? Mine was, mine was 876. I don't remember the. I, I knew it for so many years. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. I forgot. Yeah. Well, I can't remember now. Goes. I just eight, remember the street address. 876, I don't remember the rest. <laughs> all right. Oh, we got a, we got a couple numbers here. We please, yeah, go ahead, please. We don't leave them out. We've got a minute or two before we get to our Bolita drawing. Stand by, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is from. From uh, Mark, Mark Smith. Okay, Mark Smith. Right, he writes, hey, cuz, I'm sorry I missed the last week's show. Mark Smith? Or, that's what he writes, but it's Mark Garcia, I think. It's Mark Garcia. Mark Garcia. That's my cuz there. Yeah, that's how he refers. Well, the, well the email comes up as Mark Smith. So anyway, Mark Garcia. Mark Garcia. Um, his no lucky number is 25, mm -hmm. and he his vote, his vote is for 7-Eleven, actually. Okay, 7-Eleven. Was he a town and country guy? Does he, he say there? He doesn't say, but he basically says that... Uh, doesn't really say where he grew up in. Okay. Okay. And then we have one from uh, Dan Perez. Danny P. And let's see what we have here. Dan Perez. Dan, it's a little bit of a long email here. I'm not going to be able to read the whole thing. But yep. I, don't see, I don't see an actual um, lucky number here. But Dan. did he tell us where he grew up? What neighborhood? Uh, he grew up near, near Redsland, where Cincinnati near Reds practice, sure, now Yankee Training Complex. Uh -huh. And uh, number? no number here, though, at no all. No number, Danny. How are you not going to get a 7-Eleven or Little General? 7-Eleven Little General? And he didn't pick that either. Where okay. Yeah. Where's your mouse? I don't see it. Where's your mouse? Oh, it's not here. <laughs> we bought him a mouse, so we didn't have to use that little this ball works. thing, which is incredibly difficult to work with. Okay, go ahead, Steve. Okay, who's so next? Have it. That's it? Yep, that's it. No lucky number? No, uh, no lucky number. Danny. What about the and Bolita? We have also okay. the Bolita, and we have the uh, tickets. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead, shuffle the balls a little bit, so to speak, and uh, Stevie? I'll reach in. I got it this time. It opened up. It opened up. No problem. Okay. I'll reach in there and get a number, and you tell us who wins. <laughs> closest to without going over. Where are they going to win? Well, they're going to win this. Yes. Oh. A brand new Tampa Natives. And it's showing up in the There corner. you go. And it's, it's showing up screen. today. Good. Fabulous. Very nice. This shirt is a one of a kind, ladies and gentlemen. So if you don't have yours, show up tomorrow at Amarillis. You can get yours tomorrow. There he is. We'll get you one. We'll get you one. We'll get you one, son. Just show up tomorrow and. And he may win a raffle while, while they're That's there right. Too. Yeah. All you need to do is just be present to win. Here you go, Steve. I'm going to give you the number, and the number is... The number is number seven. Oh, no. Wait right on the money. Oh, wow. Lucky number seven. Marlene Marceda Lee. Marlene Marceda Lee. I know you That's can't great. see it because you're probably... She's on her car. Yeah, in the car still. You're, you're in the car still. That's she fabulous. She us before. She was just talking That's to us. Mark her down. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations, Marlene. That's wonderful. Now, Very lucky nice. number seven. Our second Molita drawing number is for what, Steve? What's our Well, this, this is for... Tonight? Ten, the, tonight's prize is uh, mm -hmm. from Edie Courtley Strickland. Edie Courtney Strickland. Easy for you to say. It's, it's, Edie. Edie Courtney Strickland. It's okay. the West Tampa Women's Picnic. It's the old fashioned picnic. They're going to have hot dogs, all the fixings, drinks, desserts, door prizes. Mm -hmm. It's going to be May 1st from 1 to 4 p.m. at McFarland Park, which we talked about tonight. Yes. And uh, these are two tickets that, that she's given away to the event. So the winner right now will win these tickets. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's. And hot we still have eligible fixings. participants, right? On that we, list. We do. Closest two without going over. Two tickets to paradise. Oh, Marlene hit it right on the head. Marlene, that was a good guess. That is number 67. Closest to without going over? Okay, closest to without going over. It's going to be the highest one on the, on the chart. 49. Yep. 49. Bruce. That's Bruce Krinsman. Bruce, Bruce Krinsman. winning you everything. Two tickets. You are a yeah. lucky dude. Well, he calls then in all the time. You, you know, you can't, call, you can't win unless you call in. And, um, two winners. Bruce, that's two tickets to Edie. Cortland Strick. <laughs> Easy for me. Steve, say it again. Edie's, Edie's yeah, event. Edie's event. It's an old-fashioned picnic, uh, West Tampa. Picnic in the park, West yep. Tampa, McFarland it's, Park. It's run the, by the West Tampa Women's Club. Women's Club. And you can go, Bruce, or you can sell the tickets to somebody else. It's okay. Yeah. Or you give the probably tickets go. away. Yeah. yeah, go. No, you should go. It's probably going to be a lot of fun. And you'll probably mm -hmm. know a lot of the people that are going to be there. Oh, yeah. All right. Excellent. Fabulous. we got two lucky winners tonight. Now, we can still take your call. We've got a couple of minutes we left. Three if you want to tell us. Yeah, we've got Three. Mm -hmm. Three minutes. Oh, my gosh. What's wrong with my, uh, my earpiece here? It's not really? working. Okay. I got it now. Three minutes only? Well, then we may not be able to take another couple of calls. Real quick, just to remind everybody, oh, in the next three minutes, oh, there was a new <laughs> coming from this side of The Belita drawing was brought to you by... Oh. And this Belita drawing <laughs> brought... Way to was, go, Steve. Was brought to us was, by... Yeah. Was brought to us by... Constantino and Company Real Estate, Fran Constantino. Thanks, Fran. Thanks, Thank Fran. You, Fran. There's, there's that um, gazebo, gazebo at there the top is. of the hill at McFarland Park. Now... Uh, while you're enjoying that photograph there, that image, let us remind you that 
Next Saturday, not this Saturday forthcoming, but next Saturday after, the 30th, is the Tampa Native Show slash Tampa Natives Soiree. Uh, soiree. Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> soiree. It's fancy, a soiree. It's a, it's a fancy French word for party. Going to be a hoedown, going to be a throwdown, and if you want to join us, you're welcome. We, we would love to see you there. It's on that social networking site. You can send us an email. If you're not on that social networking site, to show at tampanatives.com and say, Mario, Steve, 15-minute girl, how do I get there? It's going to be next Saturday from 5 to 10 p.m. It's going to be a blast. Got about 32 mm -hmm. people that have mm -hmm. clicked attending already. We'd love to see that number jump up to about 60. Bring your dancing mm -hmm. shoes. Bring, mm -hmm. bring your dancing shoes, ladies and gentlemen, because <laughs> there's going to be some dancing. Okay, and there's we'll going to be little things to eat, some adult beverages too. That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Also, stay tuned. Immediately following this broadcast in about three minutes will be the re-airing of the uh, Tampa Native Show featuring in-studio guest Mike Graham. And we're going to be talking a little bit of Tampa wrestling and the Tampa wrestling history. That was great. Also, stay tuned. We'll post this mm -hmm. information as soon as we get it. Mm -hmm. Stevie, we forgot to mention the fact that while we were at the Bochy Ball Tournament, uh, CTTV, that City of Tampa mm -hmm. Television, was there doing some coverage of the Bochy Ball Tournament. And they came over to our tent. And they interviewed and us. And they interviewed that us. That was great. That was a lot of fun. So that's going to be out on CTTV pretty soon. And, um, well, and we'll I videotaped it, too. So that's we true. Well, that's we've right. got that on we our flip cam. That on yeah, we've got that mm -hmm. on our flip cam. So we'll just post that interview out there for you guys to enjoy very, very soon. Steve, what else we got? What else we got? Well, you know, Mark, I think we covered it all. There was a lot. Got fact, a minute left to by go. By the way, look at this picture here. This is Bo's ice cream. Bo's ice cream that's still there doing its thing. I know. In Had many a chocolate dipped cone and there. And the reason the reason that picture is there is because it's uh, it's it's so many memories of uh, the, the neighborhood of that area. It was yeah. the Seminole Heights, Sly, and Florida area. Bo's and ice cream. Going, and I used to go there as a kid. And now we used to go there after your softball you games. When yeah, Alex that was, was a family. Baby. That was a, a you know place you went on Sunday afternoons. Yeah. Well, well, now the children that used to go there. Now they're taking their children there yeah. as adults. That's and the beauty of all just, of that. It's just incredible. That's Epps Park, Hillsborough River, right there. You know, we would be remiss if we didn't wish everybody at this point a very happy mm -hmm. Easter. You know, yes, tomorrow's true. Good Friday. Mm -hmm. Happy Easter. Tomorrow's Good Friday. Come see us at Amarillis uh, in West Tampa tomorrow morning. Uh, your chance to win uh, a $20 mm -hmm. gift certificate courtesy of Two Juan chances. Santayana. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of us that used to celebrate Easter each and every year at uh, Lowry Park, we like to say. Right. We love you, Tampa. We'll happy see you Easter. soon. Salud. Salud and, and happy, happy days. days. Adios. love I've always called my own, a love that I've always known, yes I remember Tampa, she remembers me.